This appears to be one of the most aggressive approaches to try and battle the giant salvinia that was discovered in Pilahatchee Bay last fall. They are literally turning up the heat on this invasive plant. Fire crews were torching a wide swath of shoreline right across from Billy Bullock's home at the reservoir. He says he doesn't mind the flamethrowers or the incendiary fight with giant salvinia. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it, it'd be bad if you couldn't get in and out this channel. The Pilahatchee Bay waterway has been off limits to boating since last fall when the invasive plant was discovered. Left unchecked, it could actually overtake the waterway. 90% of it appears to have been killed, but despite months of spraying chemicals to try and kill it all, we found more of it still managing to survive underneath the high grass. Look how much it is. Yes. So what we have to do is burn this top layer off so that we can get an herbicide uh, that has contact in the soil. So they launched this high heat assault with temps reaching over 1,000 degrees as they torch the dead grass, vegetation, and the salvinia. Reservoir operators aren't sure when they will be able to reopen the waterway. And I can't tell you exactly what way we're going to be opening, uh, what areas will be open, I, you know, whether the bridge will stay closed. That's all part of what we'll find out in the next, you know, week or two as we start uh, ascertaining just how bad the plant still is. So after they knock out all this vegetation, the next plan is to come in with helicopters and actually spray the herbicide in those areas that will then be available, hoping to put a further dent in this dangerous plant. The Reservoir, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT. <laughs>